Welcome back. This is the second episode on building a VHF TV antenna. In the first episode, I built a VHF high band antenna, and today I'll show you how to build an antenna that can get VHF low band channels or even FM radio signals. I've got a lot to do, so let's hop to it. This episode will go pretty quick as most of the basics of this antenna theory and design were covered in the first episode. If you haven't watched the first episode, I really recommend doing that first. In part one, I designed and built this VHF high band TV antenna that can be used as a standalone antenna or as an add-on to my UHF antenna designs. Today I will be doing something similar, but this antenna is sized to pick up the lower VHF channels 2 through 6, and it can also be made as an FM radio antenna. Before I get going, I want to reiterate that I do not have any VHF low band channels broadcasting in my location, so I won't be able to actually test this. Don't worry, the design is a proven one, and I'm showing you how I constructed one that is going to be well built and stable for you to use. I'm staying with the dipole design because they are simple to construct, don't require a lot of parts, and they work well. Looking at this dipole design graphic, it's obvious that a single dipole antenna is not very practical as the size of the element needs to be really long to get the lower VHF feeds. The solution is to make a folded dipole. Basically, you take the dipole length and bend it back on itself to form a long, flat loop antenna. The first thing you have to decide is which stations you wish to receive. Unlike high band or UHF stations, the low band antenna lengths really vary. For example, channel 2 needs an antenna that has an element length of 98 and a half inches, where channel 6 requires one that's only 66 and an eighth inches long. That's over 32 inches of difference. That's not saying that an antenna designed for one channel won't receive other channels that are close in frequency. If the signals are strong and clear, you should be able to do that. The problem comes with weaker and more distant signals. If I make an antenna that's tuned for channel 5 and there's a weak channel 2 signal, it has a much lower chance of picking it up. You have to decide on the stations you want to receive in your location. I recommend going to Rabbit Ears Info and researching which stations are available. Once you determine that, it should be easier to figure out your antenna design. A word of caution. Make sure you know the actual over-the-air channel the station is broadcasting on, not the channel that's displayed on the TV. They could be totally different. I'm going to make a folded dipole antenna that's designed to receive VHF channel 4. Based on the measurement chart, that means I will have an element that's around 81 and 3 8 inches. For most applications, any length that's within a half inch of optimal should still work fine, so I'll round it up to 81 and a half inches. I'm using 14 gauge aluminum bead wire to make my element. It's inexpensive and works well. I'm cutting a piece at 84 inches. I can always trim later, but I sure don't want to cut a piece that's too short. For the antenna body, I'm using one and a half inch wide PVC board. PVC is great because it's very stable and won't rot or absorb water. I measure a piece that's 40 and 3 quarters inches long. At either end I need to cut it into a radius, so I need something that's one and a half inches around. This whole saw is perfect. I trace its outside edge on each end. Now I use my handheld jigsaw to carefully cut out the curves. Next I will run the top and bottom edges on my table saw. I want to create a channel that will hold the element wire in place, so I set the fence so the blade will run down the board center. I only need to create a shallow cut, so I adjust the blade so that it is just barely above the table. I measure 20 inches from either end of the board and mark it. This leaves 3 quarters of an inch between the marks. To install the element, I need to secure the wire into the channel. I will use these 9 16th inch number 8 last screws. Their large heads mean I won't need to use any extra washers. I install two screws at the marks I made into the bottom edge of the board. Next I make a bend one and a half inches from one end of the wire and secure it under one of the screws. This will be one of my terminals. Now I stretch the wire along the channel. When I get to with a half an inch of the board's end, I sink in another screw to hold it in place. 
Now I tightly wrap the wire around the end and secure it with another screw. I continue stretching and securing the wire until I get to the other terminal. To be sure the wire stays in place, I also use four wire ties that are rated for UV exposure to also secure it down. To make a mounting mast, I cut off a 12 inch piece of PVC pipe. PVC runs slightly small, so I put a few wraps of electrical tape to build it up. I bought these half inch clamps to secure it to the board. To finish it off, I glue on a half inch PVC cap. This antenna is complete. I screw a matching transformer onto the terminal ends and it's ready to use. You can use this as a standalone antenna or you can attach it to a UHF antenna to give it VHF low capability. Here's it attached to my UHF hoop antenna. I like to keep things compact so I prefer installing it hanging below the antenna. If you want to install it above, you can easily do it like this. In episode 1, I discussed how to wire your antennas together. So if you haven't watched it yet, I suggest you use the link at the end of this video and check it out. If you have sized and built this antenna to use as an FM radio antenna, I suggest mounting it vertically like this. FM broadcasts in a circular pattern, so antenna direction is not important, but mounting it vertically lets it receive signals in multi-directions. Also with FM, always mount the antenna as high as you can for best reception. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Please high five the like icon, jingle the bell, and subscribe to my channel. I'm currently working on another TV antenna that I will have posted soon. So until then, keep watching TV.